And in Game 4, once again, who was the hero for the Yankees? It was Giancarlo Stanton in a 3-1 win. Giancarlo Stanton, uh, well, actually, it wasn't really Giancarlo Stanton. He did go 2-3 for three with an RBI, um, but he wasn't the only one. Juan Soto also with an RBI. Glaber Torres with another RBI. But Giancarlo Stanton, he had the most RBIs for the Yankees in this series. Had a great game. Again, two base hits, a walk, two for three in that game. Judge going one for two with two rocks and a run score. So he finally kind of started to do some stuff for them. And Garrett Cole, he was the game's MVP. Seven innings pitched, one earned run, four strikeouts, six hits. The Royals just couldn't muster up anything on him. Vinny Pasquantino did crack an RBI, his first base hit of the series. And Bobby Witt Jr., his second base hit of the series, scored their lone run. But ultimately, it wasn't enough. Michael Waka pitched well, only allowed the two earned runs. Their bullpen did their job. They didn't allow any runs out of the bullpen. But the Yankees, with a 3-1 win, and once again, it was Luke Weaver and Clay Holmes. Those bullpen dynamite pieces. Clay Holmes, who got moved out of the closer role because he'd been struggling so much. Well, now he's the best setup man in baseball. And Luke Weaver might be the best closer in baseball. Another perfect ninth inning, two strikeouts, no hits, no walks. And the Yankees advance to the ALCS with a 3-1 series win and a 3-1 final game win over the Kansas City Royals.